What is the right style of property that will benefit from property styling? I think the best way to show you is by giving you some examples. The property we're looking at today is an older style property and it's one that I have a discussion often about where to put the dollars in, pre-sale dollars into and what where should we concentrate on and is home styling worth, is property styling worth it in a home that is an, an older demographic? The home itself is a lot older, a lot more loved and it has pretty, some pretty dated fixtures Fixtures. These are conversations that I will have often. I had one yesterday, I had an agent reach out to me that have a deceased estate. So that's a property where mum and dad have passed away, it's now passed on to the kids, and it is an older, it is dated property that has never been listed before. It's been in the, in the family for 60 or 70 years. This is similar to the one that we're going to show you today. It was. It's also been in the family for a very long time. In these situations, we are brought in to do the styling to modernize it, but not to bring it up to a contemporary level. It's not to bring a furniture, force furniture into this home and make it something that it's not. We talk about presenting a home for what it is and for the, how the home needs to be styled all the time. An older home is no different. So you can see in the home that we've gone and styled today, this property has the original carpets. We have a little bit of retro feel going on. The kitchen has existing cabinetry. The wall, the paint's not in a terrible condition. The, wall, like the, the walls and everything are actually looking really really good but we haven't focused on getting the pre-sale dollars into a slight cosmetic renovation the owners didn't feel that it was necessary and they weren't hundred percent sure whether it's going to be a, a owner occupier who purchases this home or is it an investor or is it somebody who's going to be knock it down and build something completely different the challenge we have is to use the stock we have available to us in the warehouse to make sure this home looks amazing and presents perfectly for the era that it is still stuck in it's going with very cream fabrics the house itself is very dark we need to make it feel lighter something that we will often do in a property so we've gone with cream sofas we have white very non-patterned non-textured rugs those rugs are in all of the rooms because we have very vibrant carpet that not necessarily trying to cover up but we are definitely trying to distract from it the best way to do it is by putting something very neutral over the top that doesn't compete with what the pattern is beneath it using very neutral texturized cushions, throws, very limited patterns on everything we bring into this property, as well as the furniture needs to feel that it's within the right era. So you can see we've gone with gold fixtures, we've gone with glass top surfaces, we've gone for very simple oak finishes that match in with the same color that is in the kitchen. There is nothing that is competing because if anything in the styling competes with what's in the house, the house feels even more dated. Whilst obviously brand new homes definitely benefit from having property styling, we talk about how smaller units, smaller properties also benefit from styling. You can see the benefit definitely is there to style older homes that have more of those older fixtures to try and make them present a little bit newer, to show those buyers that it is possible to live in the property and get them buying on emotion still rather than on a calculated number.